Hello everybody, I'm Kat, also known as Kat Lives for Food on Insta. Today I'm at Shatek to find out more about the School for Hospitality everyone's been talking about. Let's head in! So I heard great things about Shatek from my friend Shine today, and today I got a special insider access. Come, follow me. Let's see what we can find out and learn. Look at all the equipment, silver countertop, everything so clean and sparkly. Wow, look at all this wood here. Looks so good. We got to get moving. Let's start the tour now. Hi guys, let's see what's going on here. Ready? Yes, chef. This is Innovation 2. This is one of four culinary kitchens in Sha Tech. In this room, we have 18 stoves for each individual to practice their craft. Currently, the students are preparing the ingredients to cook saute vegetables. To create this dish, we need to execute position in cutting the vegetables. Every cut of the vegetables has to be equal, and these techniques differ greatly compared to ingredients prepared in a home setting. The ingredients, zucchini, Abogene and green capsicums also add colour to the dish. The students are learning to perfect their dishes. That looks like such a cool move. Hello! Hi! Hi, hi, hi Kat! Um, we are just practicing proper techniques so that we can try new and advanced recipes after this. You know, and also to be fully prepared for our industry attachment. The industry attachment? Yeah! We are gonna be so ready for that. Look at the way you're dressed. Oh, so professional already. Thank you. Yeah. This is such a great five-piece uniform. Mm -hmm. This is my chef's jacket. Uh, yeah. Very breathable with heavy cotton to insulate from the heat. Mm -hmm. And then this is my apron. Also my loose-fitting pants with black and white checks. Uh, this is super comfy to move in, I tell you. Mm -hmm. And then those are my safety boots. Sleep resistant and not forgetting my chef's hat. This one completes the whole look. You know what, Kat? We cannot ignore this part of the training if we want to be taken seriously as a professional. Okay, mm. Huda, you look amazing by the way. Thank you. Yeah. Are there any other students that look like you? Oh yes, definitely. You can find my friends uh, in pastry and baking. They are currently at Sweet Delights 2. Sweet Delights 2, yeah? Yep. Okay, let's go. Hi, Lily. Hi, hi. I'm Kat from Housework Collective. I'm here today to do a project on your school. So, what are you guys doing? Um, I'm actually doing Madeline and she's actually doing Cookie. Oh yeah, I came over from one of the culinary kitchens over there. Yeah, and then I noticed it feels so much different here, it's so much cooler. Yep, of course, because the environment here is actually a lot cooler and it helps us preserve the ingredients as well as the cool pastries and desserts that you love. Wow, that's amazing! <laughs> Anyway, how is it like styling pastry and baking for you guys? Um, Tower really sets the foundation right for us and as we advance our skill sets in the modules up to term 4, we get to do event catering which I heard is extremely fun and just as challenging from our seniors. Wow, sounds exciting eh. So, by the way, what's that? Oh, that's my toolkit. This kit actually comes as part of our course fees. So this is the paring knife that we use to cut ingredients, especially fruits. And this is the waste that we use to actually beat our batters and uh, we use it quite often for a lot of things. Thank you so much for the pastry inside. You're welcome. Okay, so are there any other venues that I should visit? Yes, you should check out Discovery 8 and look for Chef Leon. Oh, that's the place that I heard that resembles the setting of a master chef kitchen. Alright, let's go. Hey, look. We are here! Let's go! Wow! See, this room is part theatre setting and part kitchen. It reminds me of Master Chef. Hi, Chef Leon! Hi! Hi! I'm Kat. Today, I'm on a mission to uncover all the fun things a Shatek student can experience. Welcome to Shatek, Kat. Uh, would you tell me more about this room? Yeah, this is one of the two demo kitchens we have in Shatek. There's an element of storytelling in this room. A culinary journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Many celebrity chefs have begun their single step here. 
This is also where legacies of skills and knowledge are passed down to each new generation of chefs. Wow, Chef, I can totally feel your passion in both teaching and culinary arts. Thank you. I'll be demonstrating two new recipes to our students in a while. In a while? Alright, I won't bother you any longer. But first, can I take a selfie with you? Sure. Alright. at the time, Shine told me to meet her at Reflection Street. Come on, let's go. It's Reflection Street, guys. Finally found it. I'm here to meet my good friend, Shine. Hi, Shine. Hi, guys. So good to meet you. Thanks for having me here. So, is this the Aspa you've been talking about? <laughs> okay. Hi, Aspa. So how's it going? Uh, we're working on our assignment uh, about technology and trends in hospitality industry. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we're doing now is uh, we're doing a presentation slide and we're yeah. supposed to submit it through Google Classroom and presenting through our home-based learning. Seems amazing. That is really what we like best. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not all just sit down classes, yeah. but by doing presentation and role-playing, we are able to enhance our learnings. Thus, it gives positive effects to us as students that keeps us motivated while we are having our home-based learning online class. And we even got a hotel visit coming up next week. What? A hotel visit? An excursion? I want in too! Don't worry, Kat. Do you know that we actually get a real-life modern hotel room here? Right here in Shatek? Yeah, yes. you can head to the Boga Gangster and look for Mr. Yen. Mr. Yen? Here I come. Hey guys, there's, so there's really a guest room right here in Shatek. Come, let's check it out. Whoa, looks amazing. Hi! 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 Hi
Hi, good afternoon. I'm Marcus and here with me today is my junior Xavier and I'll be coaching him on how to perform a flambe stick. Here with me today we have a black pepper strip loin, okay, served in flambe style. Please wait and see what's coming up next. Okay, first, you have to turn on the, the, the stove, okay. Ensure that your flame is not too high, if not the pan might be burnt. Use the back of your palm to um, feel the temperature, okay. Ensure that it's hot enough so that when your slice of butter go down, okay, it will gla glaze the pan evenly. Once you feel the heat from the pan, add in a, size, a slice of butter. Now once your pan is glazed evenly with butter, add in shallots. Okay, usually we will put around 2 tablespoons of shallots. As your shallots are brown, evenly brown, okay, we will add in mushrooms. Okay, to sweat it. Next, we will put our strip loin steak okay, into the pan. Okay, tilt your pan a bit. And after that, pushing the strip loin steak forward. Next, okay, bring your pan away from the stove. Pour in the brandy. Okay, and we turn off the stove after the flame is off. Then after that, we'll, we'll place our strip loin steak okay, onto the plate. And we'll add in black pepper sauce. Okay, once your black pepper sauce starts to bubble, we'll do the final touches. And there we go. Wow, I really like your showmanship. By the way, that looks amazing. Is that for me? Yes, Xavier will serve it over to you. <laughs> Thank you. How's the food for you? Mm, I really like it. Oh, I'm glad that you like it. Mm. But isn't it awesome that you have the opportunity to practice your craft before heading out to the industry? Oh yes, it is. Mm. I've noticed that you are dressed differently from the rest. Why is that so? Yes, I'm dressed in black because I'm in my senior year doing practicum at the training restaurant. I also coach my juniors as well. Currently, I really like this uniform because it reminds me of a student leader. When I'm in the restaurant managing operations, it feels like I'm equivalent to a management trainee. Ah, I see. By the way, amazing display you had there just now. Thank you. By the way, is there any way I can get a cold drink? Yes, you can head over to Justin at the bar station. Alright. Let's go! Hey, Justin! I heard that you are the one to look for. Do you have a signature drink prepared for me? Yes, you are in luck today. I'm actually just preparing for a competition. I'll prepare a pina colada for you right now. As a bartender, you always need to consider that creative aspect. This drink is inspired by a holiday at a beach. This is my creation of pina colada with ingredients like pineapple, lime wedges, and coconut milk. Shaking a beverage is an art. Once I have poured the ice cubes, liqueur, juices, and other flowing agents into a shaker, seal it tight. I have to shake the mixture well with the right amount of force. We don't want to over dilute the liquids. So the final drink should be well balanced. Wow, it looks amazing! There you go, enjoy. Thank you! Really refreshing. It truly tastes like a holiday to the beach. Guys, which is your favourite part of this Shatek school? Mine definitely was the meal I had just now. It was amazing. It was a truly unique and interactive experience. I really enjoyed it. Come and experience this yourself. Bye!